Hello everyone and this is a video I have been meaning to do for the past couple of weeks after this news but I was waiting to hear if there might be more of an update. Um, some of you've probably heard this already but a, a woman, an animal rights activist, Regan Russell, was killed in Burlington while at a pig vigil. Now, if you remember, I did a story years ago about Anita Kranchik, who was charged with uh, giving water to pigs. It's at that same uh, Fearman slaughterhouse where Anita was that this poor woman was killed. So I'm just going to read some of the articles here because on Friday, th this happened on a Friday morning. And it was the same day. I had to actually, t I was very close to this location. I don't know if it was Friday morning, but it was, yeah, it was Friday morning. I was there with my daughter, not at that place, but like maybe a two kilometers away because my daughter had to have her grad pictures done. And it, it's just, and I saw, I saw a truck leaving. I don't know if that was the truck that maybe hit her. You know, I, every time I see the empty trucks, I feel sadness. One of the things I have not yet done is go to one of these vigils. I know it's going to be very overwhelming for me, but I do want to go. So anyway, over a dozen gathered outside Fairman Slaughterhouse in Burlington on Friday night to honor the animal activist who was killed during a protest against animal cruelty earlier in the day. Regan Russell, 65, died after she was struck by a transport truck that was hauling pigs through the gates of the meat, facility, meat processing facility at Appleby Line and Harvester Road at 10.20 on Friday. Like I was literally, I was on Harvester Road just a couple kilometers away. Um, I, oh, I know her. Yeah. Um, that's Jenny. Okay. So, I mean, a lot of these activists I've seen and met at various events. So after the vigil, at the vigil, fellow animal rights activists exchanged hugs and consoled each other. They held lit candles and placed flowers on the chain link fence at the slaughterhouse in memory of the Hamilton resident. Uh, I can't even imagine being there and witnessing this. I, I just can't imagine. So I was trying to get some information from a couple of friends who are actively involved in this movement. Was this driver charged? And at the time, at least he hadn't been charged. And they, you know, was it just an accident? Was it just, was he not waiting the required? I think it's a couple of minutes or at least a minute to give them time with the pigs. I don't know. All I know is this is a devastating outcome. So according to a post on Facebook uh, of the Toronto Pig Save, Russell had been an animal activist advocate since 1979. I'm going to cry. Uh, and cared deeply about justice for animals, ju racial justice and protecting the vulnerable. 1979. Think about all those people who come online and say ridiculous things like, oh, you can't be vegan. You can't survive as a vegan. She was vegan. Is that 41 years? Come on. Um... And Anita Kranjic, who's the co-founder of this group, said on Facebook that Russell was a kind, elegant, strong, and courageous person, and that she always did activism with kindness in her heart. The group also said she was a wife, daughter, best friend, and we will not let the candles go out. She was a social justice activist who fought for the climate and human rights and supported Black Lives Matter. Now, um, Russell and others, they, they always give water to the pigs entering the facility, and the Halton police are still investigating the incident. I'm not sure if I've ever met her. I might have. I was at uh, an anti-fur uh, fundraiser for someone who'd been charged last year. She might have been among the crowd. I don't know. Um, I just know that I definitely have been in these circles with people who knew her well. And one of my friends, of course, who did know her well is devastated as we all are this shouldn't have happened um and i'm going to just go through this article here where someone said my life ended friday that was the other thing bill 156 passed which is essentially a bill to protect the animal abusers it's protecting them from activists showing what they do it's a horrible bill let me just look up exactly what it has to say, but let's go back to this first. So this is Regan. I mean, I'll fight. I'll fight it the rest of my life, uh, says Regan's husband, Mark Powell. Okay, 
As far as Mark Powell is concerned, his life ended Friday when his wife, Regan Russell, was hit and killed by a transport truck during a Burlington animal rights protest. Now he'll spend the rest of his days, he says, trying to get rid of the bill that haunted her. Powell, a West Hamilton contractor, says there's been an international outpouring over Russell's death from artwork to YouTube at YouTube tributes and it's helped make his grief a little lighter. His wife was deeply rattled by Bill 156, which creates animal protection zones that prohibits animal rights activists from interfering or interacting with farm animals in the motor vehicle See, So this is what this is exactly like someone said what they're doing, which is being there to bear witness while these animals have been in hot overpowering uh, weather or freezing weather to give them a little comfort before they're about to die. This bill wants to stop that. Or has this is the bill now. He's hired a lawyer for two reasons, to see just justice in her death and to try to give the bill get the bill repealed i'll fight it for the rest of my life he said my life ended friday so for as long as i'm left here we have to pick up the torch and we have to fight things like bill 156 it just makes me it just breaks my heart the notion of russell having a legacy is comforting to powell and others who knew her the 65 year old activist often protested in front of fairman's pork inc as part of the toronto pig save uh, the group gives a last gulp of water to pigs packed into hot trailers moment before there's moments before they're slaughtered that's what she was doing at 10 20 uh, a.m. on June 19th. Somehow witnesses say she ended up being hit by the transport truck. The police are um, said that the co- collision reconstruction unit is doing a thorough investigation. A determination on charges will be made by the collision reconstruction unit once the investigation is complete. Uh, Russell was also women's rights and Black Lives Matter supporter and attended rally a rally days before her death, says a close friend, Catherine uh, Whiteman. She strongly believed that all beings are equals. And that's what informed her activism. And that's really at the root of all activism. We don't have the right to exploit sentient beings for our purposes. We didn't have the right to do it with slaves. And that's my ancestry. We don't have the right to do it with animals. We don't have the right to do it with anyone. We don't have the right to tell women that they can't vote. We don't have the right to tell people who they can love. That's what activism is and veganism as far as i'm concerned encompasses all of that like you really can't be vegan but be okay with other forms of social injustice now as a vegan as a black woman i am you know i'll probably push veganism you know maybe a little farther in certain situations because as a black woman i can in a way that maybe some other people feel they can't right now with black lives matter but the point is If everybody just came, approached everything in life with a sense of fairness for all, gosh, I'm just emotional about this, we would be able to get along and have that utopia world. It's just ridiculous that we can't. And animals do not need to be suffering this at the horrible extent that they are. And women like Regan out there fighting for them to die like this is just so tragic. So Russell Russell often posted her thoughts on Facebook and uh, Bill 156 has passed. She wrote the day before she died. Now, anytime an animal is suffering on a farm in Ontario, no one, not even an an employee, has the right to expose it. So, yes, that I I was looking up the bill. It basically just ties animal activists hands like we've been able people have been able to go into farms, film some horrific stuff, which is, you know, people have complained about, oh, you know, you came on our farm. Well, why are you treating the animals like this? It's bad enough that you're killing them for consumption. Do you have to abuse them horribly as well? And why shouldn't people have a right to speak up for them? Because they can't speak for themselves. So animal rights activists have been rallying against the Security from Trespass and Protecting Food Safety Act 2019 since January. The bill was introduced in Ontario late last year. Um, Agriculture fine. Agriculture Minister says it's uh, is a response to complaints from farmers about animal rights groups. Oh, well, too bad. I'm sorry. Oh. Anyway, we know what this is. This is about keeping people from knowing the truth. It's about keep keeping people fully in their cognitive dissonance um, so they can continue to do the crap that they're doing. Once peaceful process, peaceful process have now escalated to trespassing invasions, barn break-ins, theft and harassment, da 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 You know, they some of these activists have gone in and taken sick and injured animals who are there like 
Ah, it's it's a mess. Powell has retained okay a lawyer, yeah, and 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 Sue. Okay, he remembers. Powell says it's the best way he knows to honor his wife, wife's life. Russell began activism when she was 24 and living in Winnipeg. She made her own sign that said "Stop the Seal Hunt" and stood outside a downtown government building on a frigid winter day. After several hours, she thought she'd instigated some change. She went home freezing cold. She took a hot bath and thought. There, that's done. What's next? She was born and raised in Hamilton. Then uh, she moved to Moose Jaw, Winnipeg. She became a model. And she continued that occupation until until 2002. It's just so sad. Yeah, I, this was the, the, the clip I saw on the news. Um, yeah, a friend of mine who is also it, has been a model knew her well. You know, it's just horrible. Let me just go through here. And I think I just found some images. So this... This is Regan. Hopefully you can see that well. You know, beautiful woman. Oh, looks like that's her as well. Hopefully you can see these. We are their voice. And even Joaquin Phoenix uh, has spoken out against about her death. It's horrible. Oh, this must be her with, uh, I'm assuming, her partner. Hopefully you can see that because I don't know how far my screen is stretched. But these are some of the images. A beautiful woman with a beautiful heart and a beautiful soul. Vegan. Animal rights activist. Human rights activist. Gone horribly, tragically. And it's it's devastating. And I will update you guys if the, the driver is charged. A father lost his daughter here. Justice for Regan. Oh, it's just that's devastating. I can't even imagine having witnessed this. All right, guys, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please share your thoughts. And, uh, you know, sad, sad day. I like this. There's this sign here that says, if you were in this truck, we would be here for you too. And that's what it boils down to. That's, what it, that's the first picture I had. All animals need protection under the law. Someone who was putting her... Money where her mouth is. Her mouth, you know, she was out there fighting the good fight decades. And she wasn't dead from being vegan for 41 years. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.